Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out how to use the Spectralord Classic Speaker Strobe. Okay, so first things first, let's flip it over the back and see what the wires look like. So there are two terminals for speaker and two terminals for strobe. And this is one of the easier ones to wire. All you do is put the positive in the positive terminal and the negative in the negative. So I'm going to do that now. First for speaker. This is this wire has nothing on the end of it, but basically you just put the negative wire in the negative terminal and screw it down. And obviously if there were two wires, um, you would do the uh, you would put both of them in the same terminal, both uh, positives in the terminal, both negatives in the terminal. And then we'll do the same thing for strobe. The red is normally positive, so we'll screw that down. And these terminals are pretty easy. There's only one positive and one negative for speaker and for strobe, so there's nothing too complicated here. And then we're going to um, look at the speaker settings. So as you can see, there are a few different options for watts and for volts. So for volts, you can either choose uh, 25 or 70 volts. And for watts, you can either choose two, one, a half, or a fourth of a watt. And the more watts you have, the more volume you're gonna have. So these are these little clips that go on the wire. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but these this basically um, touches the two wires together. And that is what allows you to um, get clips on and you can uh, change the wattage that way. So um, you, all you gotta do is go to the one next to the watt you want and you're gonna just clip it in there like this. It just fits right in and you just push it down. Then you do the same thing for volts. So if I want it on 25 volts, I'm just gonna push it down and make sure it clicks. And once they're in there good, that will touch the two contacts together until the speaker strip it needs to have whatever voltage and why did you set and here's some controls this is the uh, strobe controller and some things for the speaker this is the actual speaker down in here and then when we move our wires out of the way we can see that here's the model number sticker and this is how we're going to set the candela so there's a candela indicator window here on the side and then there's a candela switch that you can flip and that will change the different candela that you're working with so that's how you change the candela i'm going to leave it on 75 and you might notice that the speaker strobe is very wide. It is not just a standard back box size. The back box goes here, but this it extends out uh, for a good way. So if you're running into a wall or a door or something like that, you, it might not be inconvenient to have it facing this way. So what you can do is take a little clip and open up this strobe. You just clip, uh, you just take a little piece of plastic or something and put it in there, stick it in, and it'll open up the strobe you can actually take out the strobe it's wired in and what you can do is flip it over and install it in the other side and that'll clip in and then you can flip it over and that way if you're running into something on this side you can have the strobe facing the other way as well and if there's something on both sides what I've seen them people do before is actually mount it uh, where the strobe is facing up and that's not really what you're supposed to do um, but sometimes when there's no other option you can't put a speaker and maybe a strobe facing up above it uh, if there's no other option, it is okay to uh, mount the strobe this way, but generally most people are just going to mount it to the left or to the right, depending on which side is easier. So that is the basics of how you use the Spectre Alert Classic speaker strobe. Um, some models do have a screwdriver that you unscrew, but the same uh, basic thing applies. You can flip the strobe over if um, you need to flip it around to the other side. And, uh, but other than that, everything's the same. That is how you use this Spectre Alert Classic Speaker Strobe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one, and I hope this helped you out.